Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to the latest instalment in my weekly reading vlogs. I am here with the Biggie Cat. Um, I'm currently reading Talking Heads by Alan Bennett. I'm near, nearly at the end of it. It's actually not as good as I was expecting. I think I might have overhyped it in my head a little bit. Um, well, also obviously it's being compared for me to um, Charles Heathcote's R. Doris books. Except I honestly think R. Doris is better. Um, so I don't think this is this is Bennett's finest, although I do enjoy Alan Bennett, and I'm glad I'm reading it. I think, to be honest, you're probably better off just watching Talking Heads. I don't really know. I don't know. The fact that it's a book, it just feels to me like when uh, a bit of Fry and Laurie did, did that, where they, they just published all of the scripts for the shows as a book, and it's like, well, great, but... I mean, I read it, and it just felt like a reread for me. This, I haven't actually seen Talking Heads, but I feel as though it's been written so specifically with television in mind, possibly in some cases even with specific actors and actresses in mind, that I just think the book isn't really the right medium for it, you know? I think I just don't think it's the right medium for it. But yeah, it's all right. I'll probably give it like a 3.25, maybe 3.5 out of 5. There he goes. He's off. So that's where we're at. I don't know what's going on with the lighting here. Hello. It is Monday morning, Monday the 7th of September. Uh, it's 10 to 8. I haven't slept. Um, let's go and give you a quick garden update. I also have down here, that's um, cat grass that cats can nibble on. I don't even know if I can be bothered to take you all the way outside, so we'll just show you from your porch. Well, my potatoes are coming along nicely there. That's my tomato behind it. Got all that stuff there. A few bits growing in here. Um, you can see my nice pot plant. That's a sunflower. He's doing well. And that's actually probably my biggest sunflower now. So yeah, although the wind has started blowing some stuff off the fence. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just currently chilling with Biggie, who is behind me here. Aren't you Biggs? Yeah. Um, I've almost finished Talking Heads. I'm reading the the uh, final monologue now. So I've got like five pages to go or something, so we'll finish that soon. And then I'm going to read um, Richard III by William Shakespeare. Um, I've never read it before. I've never seen a performance of it. I mean, I obviously know a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Um, and I like history in general, so I'm expecting to quite like this one. So I'm probably going to tab it out to do a review. Um, we will see. I've also done a lot of editing, because again, I've been up all night. So I've been editing a lot of videos, getting all those ready, and um, uploading them all as well. So my internet connection is not very happy with me at the moment, because it goes goes on the fritz a little bit when I uh, when I try and upload videos. Like, it upload anything, basically. If I upload anything, it gets angry at me and nothing works. Hello, I thought I'd just give you a little update to say it is currently Monday, uh, Monday the 7th of September. It's currently five past 12, I haven't slept. Um, I'm gonna go and do my walk in a little bit. I need to go to the bank as well, ideally. Um, but I've just been finishing off some editing as well, so that's all good. Got my next radio show sorted. Um, and I finished reading uh, Talking Heads by Alan Bennett, so I've moved on to King Richard III by William Shakespeare, which I'm very excited about, because obviously it's rather famous. Most people have heard of that chap. Hello, um, it is now the evening, it is 11pm. Uh, I did sleep earlier, I don't know how long for, I think for like four hours, I should probably check my Fitbit. My internet is being atrocious right now because, um, just my internet never works, basically. I think I heard movement, so Biggie's probably coming out. I also dropped my... I only had one bowl, and I dropped it, so now I have no bowls because it's smashed. So I had to order some new bowls. Uh, I'm sure you're super excited to hear all about that. Been doing lots more editing of my videos and stuff as well, so that's all been going well. And, um, yeah, got lots of exciting videos on the way for you guys, so keep your eyes peeled for those. And, um, yeah, I'm still just reading Richard III, and I'm enjoying it. He's over there. He's just sat on my book. It's very kind of inconvenient, to be honest. So, yeah, and I'm just working and stuff. Hello. Um, it is... Sorry, I'm just going to pause MasterChef. It is Tuesday the 8th of September, 2020. Uh, I've been feeling kind of anxious over the last 24 hours or so. And it's not been helped now by, I've just seen in the news, in the UK, uh, they're going to be banning gatherings, both indoors and outdoors, of groups larger than six. Um, 
more info coming tomorrow, but my concern is, like, sure, maybe uh, pubs will stay open, potentially. I don't know. I won't, be, I won't be surprised if they close those as well. Or that they might be forced to close. Um, but also, I don't know how that's going to affect the art centre, because we have a bar, so we're, like, legally a bar, sort of, but we're also a performing arts venue, and we only open for specific events. And at those events, we encourage people to come along. And so presumably now we're not going to be able to encourage more than six people to come along, which could be interesting. Basically, I guess everything might slow down or even stop there again, which wouldn't be good. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I finished reading Richard III, King Richard III by William Shakespeare. Full review coming soon. Basically, I enjoyed it. So that is good. Uh, then I read uh, Problem with Plants Obey and Other Stories by Agatha Christie. I mean, I say I read it. I sort of read it. I've already read it, basically. All of the stories in this are in short story collections that I read quite recently. Um, so the short stories are... Problem at Palenza Bay, The Second Gong, Yellow Iris, The Harlequin Tea Set, which I read very recently. The Regatta Mystery, I've read The Regatta Mystery and other stories. The Love Detectives, Next to a Dog and Magnolia Blossom. So I'm counting this one as read and I gave it a 3.5 out of 5, but um, I didn't actually read it because then it would have been a reread. And I didn't particularly want to reread it, even though I've never read it. I just, yeah, as part of, we're going to have a few of these kind of coming up as part of like, because I'm trying to tick off everything Agatha Christie ever wrote, and so now I'm at a lot of like the weirder books that, you know, weren't published as widely or weren't as widely available, but which I've, you know, read the stories from elsewhere. And now I'm reading Rendezvous in Russia by Lawrence St. John. It's like a middle grade detective novel. Basically this uh, lass and her dog, they accidentally end up in a film, so now they're going to Russia. Um, and she's called a Laura Marlin, not Laura Marling, the musician. And um, yeah, it's quite fun actually, but also um, Lawrence St. John was the first author, I believe, who I ever interviewed for my book blog, socialbookshelves.com, and I launched that back in 2013, so it's been a while. Um, and she approached me as well and asked if I'd want to do an interview, and I looked up her books and I was like, yeah. And now every now and then I see them in charity shops, so um, yeah, I pick them up and read and review them. Dream. Dream, dream, dream when I want you In my arms when I want you And know your charms whenever I want you All I have to do is dream Dream, dream, dream with police at the station And they don't look friendly, they don't look friendly I got a flask that you could share right here if you could only stay my dear It's easier holding back your tears amongst the locks that clinks the cheese Sting 
never before got a room. Daddy's gone hunting for a dime back schoolboy tied up with a yellow balloon. Hush, little baby. Daddy must go Cover you up With a blanket of snow By the time I make Jersey You'll be in heaven In a pretty blue shoebox I know Sing a song of ten grand Pocket full of dope And I can take you with me To Baltimore We got up in heaven Have him look down below There's a little lost angel Hello, it's 2.30 in the morning, so I've got to try and be quiet. On the morning of Friday the 11th of September, um, I've been up since like 8am, but I tried to sleep earlier and I couldn't sleep. Although I am winning on Duolingo, I'm trying to come first in the Diamond League, which is like the top league in it. There's an achievement for it, um, so I've been waiting until it looked as though I was in a league with a bunch of people who were kind of lazy. And so now I'm going all out trying to win and I'm about 500 points ahead. Let me show you actually So yeah doing that I'm watching death in paradise. I was at the oh hang on. Oh, that's Charlie. Here we go Anyway, that's me at the top of the league So yeah uh, I was at the art center earlier. There was something called the Rock Project, where basically they offer like music lessons. So there was like this socially distanced music lesson. Um, so that was cool. I uh, don't think I've got anything planned at all for tomorrow. So I'm just going to go to sleep whenever I feel like and get up whenever I feel like. I'll probably only be another hour or so, I reckon. Um, we'll see. Once I've finished Death in Paradise, then I've, I've got Come Dine with Me and Couples Come Dine with Me. And then I'm gonna what? And then I'm gonna listen to the German podcast on, um, what's it called? Duolingo. They've got their podcast, so I'll listen to that. But it's, I'll listen to it on Spotify. But um, I'm trying to put it off for as long as I can because my German is nowhere near as good as my French. Like I would say, my French is probably arguably ten times better at least. In fact, according to Duolingo, again, I think I've got something like two thousand five hundred words of French and two hundred of German or something. Um, but it is coming back to me. So that's good. I mean, I did two years of it at school. Bookwise, I finished reading Rendezvous in Russia by Lauren St. John. My bedtime book is currently Hyperion, and I'm getting into it slowly but surely now. I'm on about page 50 of 450 or something, and it's, it's all right now. And uh, I'm currently reading The Unexpected Guest by Agatha Christie, uh, except it's actually by Charles Osborne. So Christie wrote a play. This is a large print edition as well. Uh, Christie wrote a play. I think it was a play. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a play. And then Osborne is like the official, uh, you know, he works with the Christie estate to novelise a bunch of her works. So it's okay so far. I mean, it, it definitely, you can tell it isn't Christie. But the story itself is quite good because we kind of follow the murderers. We basically, we know who the murderer is right from the beginning and we see her reasons for it. And then this other guy who doesn't know her at all comes along and basically decides to become an accomplice after the fact and to help her with it it's weird but um yeah it's a gripping plot i wonder if they'll get found out i'm sure they will do hello it is friday the 11th of september um i'm 
I've been watching Come Dine With Me, on, I'm, I'm on series one, episode 12. I've just been like non-stop watching it basically. Because I finished watching MasterChef and I finished watching the new series of Death in Paradise. So I've got Come Dine With Me and then Couples Come Dine With Me, but it's only one series of each and they're 20 minute episodes. And like this one, I'm on episode 12 of 40 just this evening. So I'll probably finish those quite soon. I do have my uh, like my last day or whatever of YouTube subscriptions to watch too. And then we're going to switch to audiobooks and catch back up with my audiobooks. And then it's going to be the German Duolingo podcast. And then I don't know what I'm going to watch. Hopefully by then new stuff has come out. Uh, we will see. I'm currently still reading The Unexpected Guest by Agatha Christie. Um, it's not great, but only because Charles Osborne isn't great at writing Christie. Um, so Hannah... Top what was her name? Is it Hannah Thomas? No, Sophie Hannah. Um, she's written a few um, like official Christie novels as well, and hers I think were a lot better. Um, Osborne just doesn't quite nail Christie's voice, I think. Um, but the plot itself is great because Christie wrote it, and uh, I put in my written review. I think it would be like really cool to go and see it in a in a theatre because you just get all of the twists, like do do do, and you'd be able. To, it would hit you at a faster pace, but because of the format of the theatre. Um, it wouldn't lose the impact, I think. So, but yeah, overall, I, I pretty much enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it a 3.75 out of five, I think. I'm literally like 10 pages from the end. So in fact, I should go and decide what I'm gonna go and read next. I'm gonna come over here and do that. I think we might do Jeffrey Eugenides, The Virgin Suicides. Because I think I'm gonna like that. The Catcher in the Rye for our time, according to The Observer. So yeah. So yeah, I'm going to read that next, The, uh, the Virgin Suicides. I'm quite excited about reading this as well. I uh, need to update you about midday and stuff as well, so I'll do that in a minute. Look who's here, cleaning himself. I know, you're really nice clean, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's your dada. <laughs> I was gonna get you sight. I was gonna do this. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Um, so, what is new? I can see you in the viewfinder. Okay, no, it's back. I thought it was gonna attack me. Um, yeah, I did my walk today. My goodness, there were a lot of children. So that all the kids are back at school, right? And we've got this rule, so you're not supposed to meet more than in groups more than six. There was a group of about sixty of them all waiting for the bus. To the point at which I had to walk out to the middle of the road to get past them. I could, like, not for social distancing, literally to get past them because they were standing that thick on the pavement at the bus stop. Um, like, I couldn't walk through them even if I wanted to. There wasn't enough room. Um, yeah, I'm st still sitting here watching Come Dine with me. I'm on series one, episode 13. Almost finished me Aggie now. Uh... Yeah, I've been working on a bunch of stuff, really. I've almost finished my, my final read-through of Meat, which is my novel. Um, so I'm hoping to get that done either tonight or tomorrow and then I can get it pushed through Amazon KDP and I can get my copy printed and my proof copy shipped and printed off to me. There might be a few final tweaks after that um, based on feedback from my beta readers as well, we'll see. But it does mean, it does look good that we should have that out in time for the end of October. And um, and uh, Local Haunts as well is coming out on October the 1st, which is an AuthorTube anthology. So I'm in it. Oh, God, there are so many great people. I need to do a video on it, actually. Um, I might wait until my copy is out, and then I'll do a video on it, I think. Um, but, yeah, there are loads of great AuthorTubers in that. Um, Mikey from It's Mikey's Mind is going to be in it. Cam Wolf from Page Nomad. Uh, Regina herself, Regina's Haunted Library. Uh, Jason from Jason's Weird Reads. Loads of others as well. Those are, oh Matt, um, what well, I've forgotten his channel name now. Um, I'm sure it's Paperback Junkie or something, isn't it? Um, yeah, Matt. Loads of great people anyway, so that's gonna be cool. So uh, look out for that. And yeah, it's Friday night, and I'm just I'm sitting here doing a brief response from the art centre. We're asking for like ten grand from the well from these various organisations basically to run an event uh, promoting Wickham Library. So I've ended up writing a a, a pitch for it, but it's going good because I've, I've been struggling. I've had to turn this page, take this page down. You have to have it fit on, fitting on a certain number of pages. It's really annoying actually. They give you a page number count, not a word count. So it's like, ah, oh, shit. So, <laughs> so like, you got to decide. You got to be very sparing with like how, the way you write and stuff. You don't want to write in bullet points because, you know, 
you're better off writing full sentences because you can get more into that. It's just really weird and like how you use images and stuff, you have to use them in certain sections so that you know you're not just taking up needless space on the page, but yeah, it's good stuff. What are you doing? Why are you lying like that? Are you lying like that because you want your daddy to get your belly, 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 belly. <laughs> it's a good job you don't get your claws out when you grab me, isn't it? Because that would hurt. It would hurt if you used your claws. But you know we're just playing. So you don't use your claws. <laughs> Alright, get away before it kills me. Hello. Uh, I'm very, very tired. It is Saturday the 12th of September. I've now been, it's uh, 17.39 and I've now been awake for about 29 hours. So I'm just going to try and power through till I go to bed. I'm probably going to cut my hair this evening. Need to do my hoovering as well. But I've done the majority of the rest of my housework, so that's good. And I've just had a Beyond Burger, so now I'm full. Uh, I've been reading The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides, and this is fantastic so far. It's um, possibly going to be one of my books of the year, certainly one of my books of the quarter. Uh, as you can see, I've tabbed it out to do a full review of that as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, after Jeffrey Eugenides, I don't know what I'm going to read next, actually. Probably either another Shakespeare or an another Agatha Christie, just to tick them off. Uh, but we will see and I, I reached page 100 as well of Hyperion last night when I went to bed, but didn't sleep Oh, and I'm being Ian. Yeah, screw you Ian. Ian is the guy I'm competing with on Duolingo Oh, let's do that so you can see Anyway, I'm at the top. I'm uh, 400 points clear of Ian at the moment, but he's online at the moment trying to catch up So I need to take him down because uh, yeah, well I want to win, I want to win the Diamond League, so I'm going to do a bunch of that later. Should be good. Hello, it's me. Uh, you might notice that my hair's shorter, I cut it. I obviously didn't do the best job because I am lazy, but it looks alright. I mean, well, uh, I don't know, I don't really care. It'll grow back. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, I had some bad news today, which I, I don't really want to talk about, but um, yeah, basically someone passed away and it's all... It's very tragic and just messed up, to be honest. Um, they were very talented as well, so it's not good. But um, maybe I'll talk about that at a later date. I'll certainly be doing something about it on my radio show and doing like a tribute show or something like that. So you can keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, but yeah, so that's been a bit of a downer on the day. I did a few other bits. I did my work earlier. Met up with someone who needed to use the printer at the art centre. Um, been reading the, the Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. It's very good. Full review coming soon, and I think that's all I've got for you. And it's Sunday as well, isn't it? So this should uh, this should be the end. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.